Good morning everybody on YouTube. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. Today I thought I'd do a little short video. People have been asking me after I capture these vintage videotapes to a software or to the computer, what am I able to do uh, with tapes that kind of look bad or you know choppy or have a lot of noise in the video? Well, here's an example of the, uh, the Browns video game I posted yesterday on the Sony CV2200, the skip field unit. As you know, that unit doesn't play very well. The tape was recorded pretty good, but the tape had a lot of glitches and a lot of noise, and it's, it's kind of a noisy video. So basically what I do is, here's the video on the timeline. <clears throat> here's the video playing. You can see it's got some glitches, a little choppy. I know you can't tell uh, with the video noise in, in this screen position, but I'll show you in a minute. Uh, what I do basically is I'll click on to the actual timeline, I'll go to the video enhance and with these type of tapes basically all I do is keep a video stabilizer in place at 50% alright and then I go with the video denoise at 50% which is just about right for this and I try to keep it true black and white so I'll go to what's called the uh, color adjustment and remove the vibrant uh, saturation and all that to just give it true black and white and as you can see I corrected it then I'll do a um, what you call a uh, split screen and now I'm in split, split screen so you can actually see what I actually did so let's take a look and see how this looks and as you can see I, I opened up the size of the video and when you're playing it it kind of uh, see it stabilizes it removes a uh, considerably amount of the noise if you get the the left side is the original the right side is the st stabilization cleanup and i know you can't tell too much in this video but it's a huge difference a lot of video noise is removed stabilization is there it's not jumping around as much uh the images are a, a lot cleaner sharper around the images so this is basically what we do in post-production if people want the tapes to be tailored not everybody asks for this, but when they do and they want me to do some adjustments, I can do that in my software here. So this is some adjustments to this 1970s uh, Browns game that was done on a CV2200. It's a skip field unit. This machine records with a lot of noise. It's not a great recording uh, VCR, as you'd call it. It is black and white. This tape had a ton of noise, a lot of glitches, lots of jumping around, but we were able to stabilize it and cleaning up, clean it up to a certain point. You don't want to go too far on video cleanup. You want to do it to a certain level and then stop. You can only do so much with these vintage videotapes. You can't go too far with it. Uh, if you're using like the DaVinci software, there's a lot more you can do, especially with the color videos and various things. But with regular software is you just, like I said, you clean them up, you stabilize them, but you don't go too far with it, and then you stop at that point. Not many people ask for that, but I do get people who do ask me, can you do a little bit of cleanup on the videos if they have noise and all that type of thing? So I am able to do that in my software. But the DaVinci software is the software you really want because that could take you so many levels if you really want to master a tape and take a footage and really clean it up. You could do a lot more with the DaVinci. But most standard softwares give you all the general tools such as this program, which is Cyberlink. So if you have any questions about video restoration or cleanup on Obsolete Videotapes, drop me a line. And uh, like I said, guys, Obsolete Video Services is here to do a lot of video recovery. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video.